Hi, welcome to Drive With Care. <laughs> I was planning to take you through the Dartford Tunnel, but look at this. So there will be a little bit of transitioning going on because I'm not going to have you sitting in a queue with me. But certainly by the time I get to the tunnel, we'll, we'll clearly go through. But what hazards should we expect on a congested four-lane carriageway because it's not the motorway now the m25 stopped back there it's the 282 so the stretch between dartford itself the bridge and then the other side is just an a road but nonetheless it's four lanes so the hazards for me are definitely just going to be any cars trying to slip in and out of lanes i don't think i'm worrying about indicators and that kind of thing um, and certainly keeping my eyes on the car in front and the cars behind. So I'm going to transition. <laughs> much, much, much later. So here we go. I'm going to stay in this lane and then drift into the left hand lane once I get through the tunnel. If only so that I don't have to sit behind all the trucks. Now, what is important if you're in a tunnel? headlights, dipped headlights, not full beam, for, you know, don't rely on your driving lights because the rear lights won't illuminate. Just have to constantly be looking everywhere, it changes by the second, because I can see cars, you know, brake lights coming on. I have a reason for going this way. <laughs> well, it could do a bit of shopping. But why not video it, right? This kind of stuff can test your patience because you, you can see that it's getting faster and faster, but the cars in front of you are still crawling at 15, 20, and you're like, come on, it's moving, get going. <laughs> Ah, so it's 40, is it 40 or 50 through the tunnel? I think it's, I thought, I always thought it was 40, but it looks like you can do 50. Tunnel for one mile, who knew? <laughs> Congestion charge, which I believe is 250 a day, or 160 if you've got an account. The last time I checked, who knows. I might have to put the interior lights on. We'll see how the camera picks it up in a second, because we're going through now. When was this tunnel built? The 60s? It looks old. Oh, here we go. Antisocial? I think it's antisocial. He's making his exhaust fire off. He's having a good old time. Can you see me? If I put the lights on, does that help? There we go. Oh, come on, mate. That's not... He's actually swapped lanes. So... If I'm going to do a night video for you, I'm going to need to put the interior lights on. But if Top Gear can do it, I can do it, right? And it's not illegal to drive with the um, interior lights on. Much to the <laughs> amazement that we were told as kids. Mum, I can't see. Dad, I can't see. Can't put the lights on, kids. It's illegal. <laughs> Wasn't the case. <laughs> as they drove with no seat belts on. Do you remember those days? <laughs> well, it's still crawling along. It's still painful. I'm doing 20 miles an hour. So that guy in the BMW, you can still hear it firing off. There's never a policeman around when you want one, is there?
I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Into the daylight, turn the lights off. That's better. Car, you can smell the carbon monoxide from all the vehicles. Okay, so solid white lines. Mo highway maintenance is turning off. The lines are breaking, so I can drift into the left lane. Get the old indicators on. Nothing to my left. Thurrock, Lakeside, all other routes. I'll take the video down into Thurrock. It's probably going to be a long video. I'll have done some editing. But, um... Yeah, I think that'll be fun. And there will be a part two, because I've got to get back across the bridge when I've finished my little bit of shopping. So stay tuned for part two. I say start, stay tuned. That kind of makes, that implies it's going to happen after this one. But I release my videos every three days, so you'll have to wait for three days for the part two. Unless you're watching this in the past, in which case, <laughs> link, where will the link be? <laughs> top, top right of your screen, the part two of this video, as and when it's released. So I'm going right at the roundabout, so I'll drift into the right hand lane here, there's nothing behind me. Multiple lanes on this roundabout. And lots of traffic so the lights are red so I've got to stop we are the second week nearly the third week of December 2022 at time of recording so I think people are probably out doing Christmas shopping right just to feed the um, commercial economy. I'll go in this lane. Quick snap decisions. But as long as the road is clear and you indicate then you know you can do these things. You've got to be quick with your thoughts. I think this road, this lane, carries on round under the bridge and then filters to the left. Car coming into my lane, crossing into that lane. Did some indicating though, so good for you. Because we share the roads with people, don't we? Lights are changing. go right at the next roundabout so um de 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 grays I don't know if I need to stay in this lane it does say lakeside on the on the road so I'm gonna go for it I'll stay in this lane nothing to my right truck coming out foreign Truck, BG, that must be Bulgaria. Indicating right. More congestion. I'll tell you what, this is a good place to end the video because you don't want to watch me going and shopping and I'm, I've got to do some shopping got to get a few things so thanks for watching if you've got this far and i will see you in another video bye for now drive with care